One of the ways that God works in our lives is by giving us spiritual gifts. These are special abilities, offices or manifestations that are meant for serving others and building up the body of Christ. There are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but they all come from the same spirit. In this video I will reveal five signs you may have spiritual gifts but don't know it. Let us know in the comment section how God has used your gifts to bless others. So without further ado, let's get into it. Sign number one. You have a strong desire to minister to others. One of the most significant signs that reveals you might have a spiritual gift is that you keep having a strong desire to help others in the area of your gifts. Whenever you go somewhere, you might find yourself with a burning desire to help others who need help in the areas your gifts can solve. The reason this happens is because your gifts often become activated whenever you come around an area where it is needed. For example, if you have the gift of healing, you might always find yourself having a strong compassion whenever you come around sick people. You will always find yourself having a strong compassion for them and even willing to pray for them. If you have the gift of evangelism, you might always find yourself longing to save souls. If you have the gift of help or mercy, you might find yourself always volunteering to help, even if you have not been asked to. You don't know why you do it, but you just feel drawn to do it anyway. Sometimes, people might even tell you that you do too much, but as much as you try to stop, you continuously feel the need to help others. You are not doing it because you are expecting anything in return. You do it because there is an inner light in you compelling you to do so. Jesus was this way. The Bible says in Matthew 14 verse 14, when he went ashore he saw a great crowd and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. In Luke 7 verses 11 to 15 it says, When the Lord saw her he had compassion on her and said to her, Do not weep. Then he came up and touched the bier, and the bearers stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, arise. And the dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. Told us that every time Jesus had compassion, a healing took place. These include gifts such as mercy, hospitality, exhortation and helps as mentioned in Romans chapter 12 verses 6 to 8. For instance, Dorcas was a woman of kindness who made clothes for the poor and widows as mentioned in the book of Acts chapter 9 verses 36 to 39. Dorcas was so good to the point that after she died, the believers had to ask Peter to pray for her to come back to life. These are just a few of many examples of people who had caring gifts and exercised them faithfully. If you have these gifts, you should use them to glorify God and bless others. But also bear in mind that sometimes people might misunderstand your gifts. You might be helping people, but instead of them being appreciative of your gift, they might tend to persecute you or take advantage of you. The key is for you to ask God to lead you. But don't give up or become discouraged. As Peter wrote, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Sign number two, you get revelations beyond your knowledge. A second sign you might be spiritually gifted is that you have understandings and intuitions that seem to come from a source beyond your natural abilities. For example, those with a gift of prophecy as described in Romans 12 verse 6 and 1 Corinthians 12 verse 10 might often experience prophetic visions, dreams, or a word of knowledge that reveal things which are unknown. These are known as revelational gifts. Biblical figures like Isaiah, Samuel, Daniel, and Agabus prophesied events they couldn't have foreseen logically, as seen in Acts chapter 11, verse 28. You might be in a prayer meeting, and God lays in your heart to pray for someone, and as you pray for them you get to find out that they have been going through a very difficult situation. This could even be through dreams. You might repeatedly keep having dreams that show things that are going to happen in the near future, and they happen just as you saw them. This is a clear sign you are operating under revelational gifts. But you should also bear in mind that just because you have prophetic messages or dreams does not automatically make you a prophet. There is a big difference between a gift and an office. A gift might manifest when needed, but an office is a specialized area God has called you into. Sign number three. You are more effective in certain areas. Certain gifts may cause you to excel in specific areas more than others. For example, you might find out that whenever you stand up to teach or preach, you do it effortlessly with passion compared to other areas. Sometimes God might give you multiple gifts, but you might have one or two or even three prominent gifts, 
which you operate in more effectively than the others. The more prominent gifts are often the ones you may have been called into. For example, if you have been called as a teacher, you might find yourself easily grasping divine knowledge and explaining them in a way that enlightens your hearers. The teaching anointing flows through you naturally. Others might teach the exact thing you teach or speak the exact way you speak, but it will not have the same impact. When you step up to teach, you find the knowledge flowing through you without you putting too much pressure, because that gift is a part of you. However, while your gift might make you excel, you must be extremely careful against pride. I've mentioned previously on several occasions that nothing damages a man's gifts much more than pride. The moment pride kicks in, you are already on your way to failing. Sign number four. You have authority in that area. When you have a spiritual gift, you will be given an anointing to accompany that gift. That anointing makes you very bold when operating your gifts. When you stand up to pray for the sick or speak the word of God, you will do it with such audacity that will make others believe your words. In Matthew chapter 7 verses 28 to 29, the Bible says, And it came to pass when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Notice that the Bible gave a distinction about how Jesus taught and how the scribes and Pharisees did. The difference was clear. So you might be a very shy person in real life, but when it comes to manifesting your gifts, you might find yourself becoming very bold when using it. That boldness isn't coming from you, but it is the Holy Spirit empowering you through your gifts. So if you always find yourself very bold in one particular area, that might be God revealing your area of gifting to you. Sign number five. Your gifts are accompanied by evidence. When God gives spiritual gifts, he also provides validation through results. In Mark 16 verse 20, the Bible says, And they went forth and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them, and confirming the word with signs following. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 4 also says, God also testified to it by signs, wonders, and various miracles, and by gifts of the Holy Spirit distributed according to his will. If gifts of faith, healing, or miracles are part of your calling, you can expect to see God's power on display. Just as Jesus performed miraculous signs to confirm his authority and message, God will confirm and testify to the gifts he has given you. When you step out in faith, God will often provide tangible evidence through emotional healing, physical healing, supernatural provisions, or clear guidance. These miraculous results are God's way of showing that he is truly at work through the gifts and calling he has placed on your life. Be bold and courageous as you use your spiritual gifts, knowing that God delights to validate his work through supernatural confirmation. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. If you love our videos, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel.